Welcome to our education team's pre-trip instructional video. During your enhanced whale watching cruise, you will be required to count and identify seven different marine bird species. With this training video, we will assist you in understanding the unique characteristics of each marine bird. If bird identification is new to you, determining the correct bird species can be challenging. Small features and color patterns can mean the difference between a ring-billed gull and a western gull. See the differences? Scientists use this type of identification to help monitor bird populations and the overall health of each bird species, and ultimately the health of their environment. During this video, you will see photos of different birds we might see during your cruise. Use the field guide to help you with your identification and write down your answers. Do your best to find a unique characteristic for that animal in each clip to better help you determine which local bird you're looking at. Here is a Hearman's gull. These birds are smaller than other seagulls with dark gray feathers all over their body. Notice their bright orange or red beaks, white head, and black legs. Western gulls are the largest of the gulls we will see on the boat. They have dark gray wings and back with white feathers on their belly, neck, and head. Western gulls have yellow beaks and pinkish legs. Here is a ring-billed gull. These birds have similar patterns and coloration to western gulls but are smaller in size. One of the easiest ways to identify ring-billed gulls is by the black ring around the tip of their yellow beak. Sometimes ring-billed gulls have brown spots on their heads or chest. The brown pelican is a very large marine bird. Their wingspan can reach seven feet. Pelicans have white and yellow heads with giant beaks. Notice their grayish brown feathers on their body. Here is a double crested cormorant. They are almost all black with a bright yellow beak. Cormorants have a long neck. You will most likely see them with their wings spread wide, which is a behavior they use to dry their feathers. Snowy egrets stand at two feet tall, and like their name mentions, they have all white feathers with a black beak and yellow feet. Sometimes you can see a crown of feathers sticking up on the top of their head. Here is a great egret. Similar to snowy egrets, they too are completely white but are twice the size at almost four feet tall with yellow beaks and black legs. Now that you have the unique characteristics of each bird species, let's test out your ID skills. Remember, you always have your field guide to help you answer all your questions. Did you identify the correct bird? Here are the answers. Test your skills in a harder scenario. Each slide will have multiple bird species pictured. It's up to you to correctly find the assigned bird for each question. Your answer should be the number next to the bird you choose.
Did you write down the correct number for each answer? Let's check. Job on your bird ID. On your enhanced whale watch cruise, you will have a helpful tool to use to look at the birds up close. We are going to be using binoculars. If you've never used binoculars before, here are some helpful hints. Always put the safety straps around your neck so you don't drop them. You're then going to put the binoculars up to your eyes so that the eye pieces match with your eyes. Then, if it is blurry when you look through, you can use this knob to help you focus. Once it's all set, you're good to go. Today you learned how to identify seven different species of marine birds. Now that you know how to look for unique characteristics to identify species, you can apply this method on other animals. We have also learned how to use a helpful tool, the binoculars. You are all set for a great adventure. We will see you on the water.